Welcome back, I am Captain Xavier, and as you can see, I am sorting darts! So today, it's not because I had a particularly taxing day, or uh, emotionally draining day, I actually had a wonderful day, and I've had uh, a series of wonderful days. Things have definitely started coming together, though as you can see from the <laughs> mountain that continues to exist behind me, uh, there's still a lot to do here in the Makerspace, but uh, as you will see in the tour that you were about to get, it's it's finally starting to come together. So, take a look at this. All right, here it is. The first walkthrough of my workshop part of the Makerspace. The Makerspace itself hasn't really started getting built yet. I needed to start with my workshop so that I could actually work on stuff. But let's get started. So we've got my tool chest, some dart storage, my 3D printers which are lovely. This will be where my shop computer is. Uh, a subscriber sent me all the parts, most of the parts, a bunch of the parts, necessary to build a new computer. So that's what will be going here. More dart storage. I've also now built this fantastic dart catching apparatus using some fencing that uh, a friend gave me. The stuff here on the side is actually large enough for darts to go through, but the stuff in the front and the the strike face there in the back which is conveniently at a 45 degree angle so darts come in and then get ricocheted down and then down and they eventually come to this rolling tray down here that I can pull out and sort also have uh, my chronograph conveniently mounted right here don't have the wiring in the shop redone there will eventually be a plug-in right here that those two plug into my one of many blaster walls, there'll be a couple of them in here with all my fanciest blasters on display. These are you know, most of my favorite ones. Uh, we also then have this workbench, which just came out absolutely perfect. It's got more pegboard here on the side. I haven't filled in all of the pegs or all the stuff that'll be going there. There's also more pegboard on this side. Again, still filling stuff in. I'll be putting the X-Strike logo here on the front. It's uh, a foot longer than my old one, so I've got more workspace, um, and it is painted. This paint will never last. It'll get messed up real quick, but um, while it's still pristine and orange, I just wanted to show it off. More pegboard over there with tools and stuff so that all my tools and stuff are within arm's reach. Underneath, there is some storage for my soldering stuff and my drill and bins and stuff for, again, easy access. Most of that sort of stuff will end up... Uh, right up the stairs, right at that top, there'll be shelves that have all those, all my spring bins and all of that will be within easy reach up there. We then have the lounge. I really was expecting this chair to be bigger, and I may try to find a larger one, but I'm not sure if it would actually fit in the corner. Mini fridge, which unfortunately appears to have died. It's making noise, but it's not getting cold. Uh, I had to defrost it when I moved. And apparently it didn't like that. I tried replacing the relay, but that didn't do it. I did have it tipped quite acutely when I was defrosting it, and I'm wondering if that somehow messed up the internals. If any of you have any suggestions, I'm open to them. Otherwise, I'll just go buy a new one. They're not that expensive. Just thrifted a microwave so we can do popcorn and warm up pizza or whatever. I need to find the shade for that lamp. It's in a bin around here somewhere, but uh, otherwise there's not a whole lot of lighting over here. There is a wood-burning stove for when it gets cold... We need to replace this, the stovepipe. It has rusted and fallen off. Um, but we will get that replaced. Uh, there is a table over here for putting pizza upon. There will be um, cabinets here for storing snacks and whatnot. And then this wall will be a map of the world with pins for locations of crew and auxiliary. There's a lot of far-flung crew that I don't even know where many of them are anymore. And I'd love to find out, so... And then, of course, a sofa. It's a futon for now, but I hope to eventually get something a little bit classier. Um, crew banner. Pegboard here. Uh, these will quite possibly end up blaster walls with, like, my well, my strifes or something. I don't know. They'll have fancy stuff. Uh, we then have power tools on their benches. Uh, the ones down here will be on the other side of the shop once I get those benches built, but I can't get to that area yet. And then that's as far as the pegboard has gone, but the pegboard will eventually cover all of the walls. Here's my old workbench. Train!
But here is my old workbench in the location of what will be one of the eight workbenches for the actual maker space. And I will probably end up just completely rebuilding it. Um, it needs to be a little bit shorter in order to fit. It'll be a little under four feet. Um, I might just make them three foot by three foot stations, honestly, uh, rather than the three foot by four foot that this is. But I might just go ahead and try to make them as wide as I can and still fit, which will put them about three and a half feet by three feet. Anyway, they will have all of the tools that you need, soldering iron, drill, dremel, screwdrivers, um, all of that. Each of the, the eight stations, there'll be one here, one next to it where the wood's currently stacked. And then where these two tables are, there'll be one, two, three, four more. And then somewhere where <laughs> behind the mountain of all of that will be the last two. This is why I can't build the other uh, power tool workstations because there's just stuff. Still working on getting the, the shipping container to store all of that in. That'll be wall-to-wall -wall shelving and it'll all be nicely organized and, and all of that. But for now, I still have this mountain o nerf in my shop and I want to get it out of here. But soon, soon. There is then the loft that Corporal Fusco and I built, which increased the uh, floor space in here by 33%. And that's where a lot of my stuff uh, is being stored. It's also still a mess. I need to build better shelving up there and, and fix the lighting and all of that. And, and all of this front face will be covered with pegboard so you won't see all of the unsightly storage that's going on up there. But uh, that is the current status. And as of this point, I have yet to tap into any of the funds that were raised for the Makerspace, either through Patreon or the GoFundMe, because like I said, this really isn't the Makerspace this is my personal workshop space. So building all of this came out of um, my own money. Um, getting the shipping container and then building the workstations and um, getting all the tools for the workstations. You know, I need eight sets of everything, eight soldering irons, eight dremels, eight sets of screwdrivers. Uh, that will be coming out of the Patreon and go fund me and then further acquisition of materials, motors, switches, wires, screws, all of that. Uh, we'll also get funded by Patreon so that I never have to charge for the Makerspace. So that that's where we are as of today. I hope to have the Makerspace up and going um, in another oh month, two months. Things uh, I've got so much stuff to do here having my own place. But um, this was all the really complicated stuff, building the loft and the stairs and, and that. Um, these workbenches will be a lot simpler and obviously hanging an, an obscene amount of pegboard in this place, but um, that is the status, and it's got me really excited. I love how well this came together. I love how I've got better mounting for my cameras and microphone and all of that. I'm still experimenting with microphones, trying to get one that doesn't pick up too much ambient noise, but I'm getting there. If anyone has any suggestions, I'd, I'd love to hear it. Anyway, looking forward to filming on this new workbench. Uh, we're going to be having a mod party here this weekend um, because it's finally to a point where I, I, I even could. Uh, it's obviously not fully ready for, you know, because it doesn't have the eight workstations, but we'll be able to use these and, and, and whatever. So, yeah, that should be a lot of fun. So, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, mod party this weekend should be pretty pretty good. Um, as I said, the the build space for you know other people is not yet built, but uh, between these work tables and my old workbench and uh, the fact that we don't have a whole lot of people coming, uh, there should be enough room for everyone to work on projects if they. I don't think that's the right bin. was not. But now I don't see the dirt that I threw. Where are you? Come back here. I will find you. Ha! 
there should be enough room for people who actually want to work on projects, and then obviously we've got lots of room for people who just want to come and hang out. Uh, we might do some pickup battles and try out the various terrain that I have here on the Maker's Space. Train! Uh, yeah, had a really good day today. I uh, was finally able to uh, hang out with Walcom. I have not done that in, uh, I think it's been since last November when we did the, the gummy worm, or the gummy bear eating uh, video. Um, not long after that, or right around that same time, that was right when I was really getting serious about building this maker space, and all, pretty much all of my time, excess time and energy, uh, went towards that for pretty much a year, and a lot of other things, things that uh, were important that I should have been taking care of, didn't, like being a good friend, making sure that my friend was doing okay, that he wasn't feeling left out and all of that, and uh, now that I'm a little more settled, have the place, the things are coming together, yeah, there's a lot of work to do, but um, there's a lot less urgency. All the big events, other than Ragnar Oktoberfest, have been more or less dealt with, and I can really start getting, getting back into my previous uh, healthier rhythm. I've been running myself a little bit ragged. Uh, still need to get like the Lego area of my house set up. That is something that I can, I can be getting done. I need to strip the walls up there and get new walls put in and put in a new floor. And uh, there's a lot of work that needs to be done. But then I can, you know, build the the benches that'll go up there and start spending some time with my Lego, which is very important for my mental health, personally. Um, but yeah, got to hang out with Walcom, and this is what we did today. I'm here at a Goodwill with Walcom. We found this so far. Um, this is the closest one to where I live, which is unfortunately a half hour away. I miss my Goodwills. <laughs> but that is the way of it. I moved down here to be closer to Walcom and Luke and to get away from the sirens. So this is what I get. There is the ubiquitous Maverick. Thunderblast, Revolution Bow, uh, Thunderblast, $10 Helios, Helios, Triad, crossbowy looking, slingshotty, what is that thing called? Sling, sling strike? Sling strike? Sling strike. Yeah. I just took a guess, actually. A big shot. Ooh, hey, how much are you? $4 big shot, boy. Yeah. I'm a robbery. <laughs> oh, we've got that Huntsman thing, is that what that oh, was? Oh, hey. That we've got some vintage, a you know, vintage, some belt blastery thing. Uh, there's actually not. There's a stampede over here in the corner. Not a bad spread, really. No, I think it's actually you know, pretty good. Pretty good. It's just I needed something with a shotgun stock. And mm. I'm not finding something with a shotgun stock. So. No, we will. We may have to wander afar. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Onward. I'm just grabbing stuff. We're at the next one. Welcome has found the Spitwad launcher We've and been here for like 30 seconds. What is that thing? What is a that thing? Goo goo goo, goo, goo thing. No. Uh, goo, go, go. I'll call it the goo tuber. It, it it isn't. Gobzuka? Gobzuka. Gobzuka. That's there we go. Actually quite a bit of stuff here. Hey, oh no, that's not. What? No, that's it. What? What? Gonna... You didn't see me lunge for it, so I wasn't like it's important to lunge. Yep, yep. Alright. Might grab that. We've got one of those, another triad, some laser tank stuff. Hmm. <laughs> not getting the Vulcan. Hashtag not getting the Vulcan. More stuff, more stuff. Well, more stuff. Ubiquitous Maverick. Ooh, helmets. This is a lot of stuff I haven't seen. Oh, well, look, Hailfire. I haven't one of those in a while. Wow. There's a lot of stuff here. <laughs> Moving on. Turns out there's even more stuff here. All we had to do was turn around. And we didn't for some reason. So. That's, that's putting it right here. And, uh, yep, more stuff, more stuff. More. That's actually the same one from the other side. They're really tempted to um, uh, What, what, what it's is it? It's a yokai watch. It's a what now? That's, that's what it's called. I don't know really much about it, but my wife likes these games. So. I think you're making up words. I am. It's a shovel. I like the shovel. Dude, a shovel? Right there. Dude! 
I could finally dig my own grave. Yeah. This place is just this is loaded. Level, right? It's crazy. I'm reasonably certain I actually forgot to film the last one. He picked up two sweet revenges, the schmuck. He's planning to hold them hostage in case I find something that he really wants. But I'm doing all this filming, and so he's grabbing all the loot. There's a ubiquitous maverick, a scorpion. A wooden sword. Surprisingly nice. A lot of super sectors. I mean, it's CPS 2500 or 2100. He's making up words again. Tragically, one of the downsides of this move is that I no longer live within 10 miles of 10 Goodwills. Uh, there's one Goodwill 30 miles north of me, and there's one Goodwill 30 miles south of me. So, um, getting to go into a thrift run with Walcon today was, was pretty awesome, because I haven't gotten to do one of those in far too long. And uh, we found some good stuff. I, I forgot to film what we actually got, but uh, he did pick up that gobzooka and that um, toilet paper launcher. He ended up getting two um, micro shots, both the, the strife and the rough cut, which apparently he did not have. And uh, he picked up those two sweet revenges. I never was able to find anything to... Uh, to bribe those away from him, unfortunately. Uh, we did find a lot of uh, bins, these same bins that I'm using for storing uh, my darts. Uh, he needed some to, to work on his storage area, so he grabbed a couple of those, and I picked up a couple more for Lego storage as well. And um, what did I grab? I picked up a Strife, no battery door, but you know. <laughs> We pretty much never use stuck battery doors on our stripes anymore anyway. Uh, and I think I picked up a couple of other things. Nothing. Oh, I picked up a microwave for the, uh, for the lounge. Uh, yeah. It was good. I, I missed Goodwill runs. They were always very relaxing for me as well. But uh, that's, that's the news. I will hopefully get some footage of the uh, mod party. Can't really live stream. The internet here is not good enough. Plus, I don't have internet in my shop yet. Anyway, another thing that needs to get done. But uh, hopefully I'll get some video footage of it and we'll eventually get that uploaded. I still haven't done West vs. Zombies. I still haven't done End War. I haven't done Boom Shaka. I've got a lot of event footage that I need to get uploaded. And hopefully will now that, again, things are settled. So. Alright, enough blathering. I'm going to sort darts.
people say a man is made out of mud. Poor man's made out of muscle and blood. Muscle and blood and skin and bone. A mind that's a weak and a back that's strong. You load sixteen tons. What do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt to St. Peter, don't you call me cause I can't go. I owe my soul to the company store. I was born one morning when the sun didn't shine. I picked up my shovel and I walked to the mine. I loaded sixteen tons, number nine coal, and the star boss said, Bless my soul, you load sixteen tons. What do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt to St. Peter, don't you call me cause I can't go. I owe my soul to the company store. I was born one morning, it was drizzling rain. Fighting and trouble been my middle name. I was raised in the cane brick by an old mama lion. Can't know a high toned woman makes me walk the line. You load sixteen tons. What do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt to St. Peter. Don't you call me cause I can't go. I'll my soul to the company store. If you see me coming better step aside a lot of men didn't a lot of men died i got a one fist of iron the other of steel and if the right one don't get you well, the left one will you load 16 tons what do you get another day older and deeper in debt saint peter don't you call me cause i can go I To the company
like it. Three, ten, five, two, two, it fell in the sand. Thoughts of idle fingers slipped to my command. A lovely bear of teeth that clicked to beat the band. Contemplating the triple I do still have this whole thing to still get through, but some other day, some other day. Thank you for watching.